So Mike is gonna be. Welcome to the episode today. In this episode, we're doing some recording, which is exciting. And uh, since we redid the drums and redid some wiring things here, uh, we haven't really recorded anything. So we're gonna record some things. We haven't recorded anything. <laughs> Period. Yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah, this is a good test run. I'm gonna. We're gonna probably go patch bay on the router. Okay, now we need to route things, right? Not really. Yeah, we do. How? Oh, why? We need to route. Let's see. Nine. Nine is talkback for the drum set. Right. But right now we're not using that talkback, are we? So this nine is not really what nine is over there anymore. So input nine is normally what? Drum talkback, right? Mm -hmm. But we're not using drum talkback. Okay. We're using a different talkback, a setup mm -hmm. talkback. So in, instead of unplugging nine on that thing and we're gonna unplug that, eleven. We're gonna we're gonna unplug nine here, mm -hmm. which is nine there. And we're gonna plug it into uh, eleven. Is that eleven out there? Mm -hmm. Plug this eleven uh, into, into nine. nine. Yep. So that's what it should be. Yeah. That makes a lot more yep. sense than what you were trying to explain. That, yeah, I know. I was. Okay, time to go test this thing out. Oh, just so you know, just to make everyone's life easy, if you're ever putting monitors back, let's just do volume to zero so we don't blow people's ears. Yeah, that makes sense. I just think for safety reasons. No, that totally makes more than enough sense. <laughs> like, you don't have to explain it to me. Yeah. yeah. So now that Cole got that set up. Is yes. You see for that? A what? Power? No, it has battery. Okay. Uh, should have battery. Yes, it's a nine volt battery. But um, we could if we wanted to. Yeah. Just me, hmm. or it's actually fine. It's fine. I was thinking how bassy the the this is compared to that one. Okay, so right now I got my ears in. Cole is getting the console in there ready. Um, so I'm gonna move the camera over there so you can watch what he does because what I do out here is well playing and talking. So. Hey, 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 one, one, two, can I hear your talk back? Talk back, one, two. Uh, can you turn it up a little bit? You're, you're just talk your back. talk back? Here, let me just latch it real quick. Yeah. Can you hear me, can you hear me, can you hear me, can you hear me? Yeah, talk, talk, sorry, talk, talk, I, uh, talk. turn yours down a little bit, actually. Down, 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 down. Yeah, down, that's down. good. Cool. I turn my, my volume on my ears up. Can you put, um, in my ears, can you put my talk back a little bit so at least I can hear myself a little bit. Did you, did you do the, oh, there we go. Perfect, right there. How, whatever the level that is, that is good. Cool. And if you want, want to put it in, in the monitors a little bit, go ahead and do that. Just so enough so you can hear my voice not too crazy loud. Um, no, I've already got you with my monitors. Okay, cool. Okay, ready? Take out. Uh, hold on. Hear how low the lows are? Do you want me to kind of shelf it a little bit? Actually, don't do anything. Don't do any EQ yet. Okay. Okay, so we uh, we decided to put a DI box um, in as well as miking the guitar, so we get different flavors. We can EQ it differently. We can test some different things out. So wet and dry in terms of how much DI compared to raw sound. Yeah, so so the DI is like plugged into the guitar right from guitar into audio clean. The 
mic obviously will have some ambient sound, some of the room sound in there be because it's a mic. It's not like directly plugged into the guitar. So Cole right now is setting up the DI. Then we're going to test it out and see if we like it. We'll probably use it, and if not, then we just don't. But that's the plan. Okay, so uh, now, now the camera's set back up in here. We're gonna test the DI and figure out all the EQs and stuff before recording. So when we record, it's streamlined process. That DI doesn't sound bad. Here, do you want to hear it without the mic? Yeah. Tell me when I'm good. You're good. Ugh, do you hear that? Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> Okay, so we realized this mic's a little too low and not what I like. All right, I'm switching out. So um, we're gonna do what's called a hot swap. So that's the equivalent of a U67. And right now in my hand I have a C12. We actually, Cole and I did a very good comprehensive review on these mics. Check it out, right? Right, right, right here. I think it comes on this side. Okay. I'm so much happier with that. Yeah? Yeah! Can you take out the lows more? DI lows, DI lows. Oh. Come. Little great wall of suck my entire. I was thinking, like, turn on one of the mics so I can hear you, or, uh, in my ears, or plug a mic in and bring it to me, or talk through it. Okay, why don't you go ahead and play it for your ears out. Whoa, 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 turn it down, turn it down, down. Bro, it's cranked in my ears right now, dude. Um, okay, so... Here, here's what Cole learned, here's what I learned about the system here. Um, first off, what Cole learned is, if you're mixing monitors, and, I, and I'm saying this more from an educational standpoint rather than blaming Cole for not knowing it, because he just didn't know, so that's fine. But I like to teach people and learn from people's mistakes, so that's, that's exactly what's going to happen here. Um, like, Cole didn't know, which is fine, that when you're mixing monitors, never bring the level up to unity, which is zero, which is like perfect level. Don't bring it up to that and press the track and, all right, go ahead. Because I wasn't expecting it. I also had molded in-ears in my ears. Whoa, 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 turn it down, turn it down, down. Bro, it's cranked in my ears right now, dude. So that just amplifies everything because it's right near your eardrum. So it blew up my ear. I was like, oh God, and I had to take them out really quick. Um, so if you're gonna mix monitors, start really quiet and bring it up until they say, okay, you're good. All right, and do this, don't do this. This probably means turn it up, so do this. So um, I, I coached them on that, that don't just bring it up to zero, press play and call it a day. Um, that rhymed. J just slowly bring in your mixes if you're mixing someone's ears. So that's that's very important. Okay. Um, the other thing I learned is that like we can. I, I learned how to like to patch things quickly. How to really get a flow going here in the studio, which is good. It felt real. It felt good. It felt solid. Um, I just need to figure out how to get more. I think I need more inputs around the studio in here. Uh, the drums take up a lot. And we have a few here, we have a few out there, so cables might need to be running in weird directions, um, which I'm fine with, just trying to make that the cleanest and organized way as possible. That's the only thing I really need to work on. Um, everything else felt really good, really solid. The flow felt good on setting things up, tearing things down. So uh, 
overall a really good experience. Um, so I need to finish up packing. I also need to charge this camera. I can see it's about to die here in any second. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow for a travel episode here on the vlog. All right. I won't travel episode tomorrow. Who's damn kids on the street? You would be we could kick it all weekend. Baby no sleep. Speak about whatever till the sun was in the sky. Swimming naked in the ocean while the sky was falling open. Hoping you would fuck me on the beach on my back seat. Listening to rap.